Here are several reasons why the Iranian Air Force cannot directly attack Israel. Number 1. Geographical distance. The distance between Iran and Israel is approximately 1,000 kilometers. This means that Iranian aircraft would need to travel a long distance to reach Israel, which exceeds the effective range of many of Iran's combat aircraft without aerial refueling. Number 2. Air Defense Systems Israel has one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world. The Iron Dome is a short-range missile system, David's Sling is a medium-range missile system, and the Arrow system targets long-range ballistic missiles. Number 3. Limited Aircraft The Iranian Air Force operates a mix of older aircraft and lacks the capability to perform modern combat missions at the level of their adversaries. The Iranian fleet includes such as the F-4 Phantom, F-14 Tomcat, F-4DE, Su-24MK, F-5EF, Sikh, Kizakara, and MiG-29AUB. Number 4. How did the Iranian government acquire modern aircraft from the United States at that time? Let's see how this happened. Before the 1979 Iranian Revolution, the Shah's government had close ties with the U.S. government. As a result, Iran received newly manufactured aircraft such as the F-4 Phantom, around 240 units, the F-5 Tiger, and the F-14 Tomcat, 79 units delivered, from the American government. According to some reports, Iran initially ordered about 240 F-4 Phantoms before the fall of the Shah's regime. Today, the Iranian Air Force operates only 40 to 60 of these aircraft because, due to U.S. sanctions, Iran cannot receive spare parts. The F-5 Tigers are undergoing upgrades domestically, and Iran claims to be producing a domestic copy of the F-5 Tiger. Additionally, Iran acquired French Mirage 3 aircraft and more than 40 Russian MiG-29s, although only a few of the MiG-29s remain operational. The country also operates converted Boeing 707 tankers equipped with both flying boom and probandro refueling systems. Number 5. However, the Iranian Air Force was heavily involved in the Iran-Iraq War from September 1980 to August 1988, carrying out major operations such as Operation Kaman 99, Operation Sultan 10, the H-3 airstrike, and the first attack on a nuclear reactor in history. Operation Scorch Sword As a result of eight years of aerial combat in that conflict, the Iran has the second highest claimed number of fighter aces in the region, exceeded only by the Israeli Air Force. As many as seven Iranian pilots claimed more than six kills, mostly achieved in the F-14 Tomcat. Veterans of the Iran-Iraq War went on to form the core of the Iran Command.